There are certain series where the passage of time plays a very crucial role in the narrative. One of the prime examples being Death Notes, where every day involves meticulous planning and mind games. And, since a particular studio does not want me producing content on other series, I thought this would be the perfect time to return to the universe of Death Note and talk about the quite extensive timeline of events. For the purposes of this video, we'll be using the manga as a guide for the timeline, but the events play out very, very similarly between the anime and the manga. The biggest difference being that the dates are pushed forward to coincide with the airing date of the anime. But starting with the events pre-Kira case. 2001, September 1st. Naomi Misura enters the FBI. 2002, July 22nd. A puzzle is sent to the LAPD about a mysterious homicide, which would turn out to be committed by Beyond Birthday, or BB for short. A former successor for L turned serial killer born with the eyes of the Shinigami. For the time being, these puzzles are ignored. July 31st to August 13th. Three more murders are carried out by BB. All of these were extremely gruesome and had been a part of BB's experiments, establishing a trend. August 14th. L contacts Naomi for the first time, asking whether she would assist him in solving the BB murders. August 22nd. BB sets up a plan to make himself appear as the final murder victim, but the case is solved in time and Naomi prevents his death. He is arrested, and the LABB murder cases come to a close. September 1st. After multiple conversations of Naomi being able to protect herself using capoeira, Elle takes up learning the fighting style as well. This is where the events of the canon novel and other notes, the LABB murder cases, conclude. I just read it recently myself, and I absolutely recommend giving it a read if you crave more Death Note content. It is really a great one. 2003, May 19th. Misa Amane's parents are killed at the hands of a burglar. July 4th. Ray Penber proposes to Naomi. September 30th. Naomi leaves the FBI in anticipation of the marriage. November 28th. Day zero of the Kira case. Light, while bored in class, notices the notebook falling from the sky. After the class is finished, he picks up the death note. Later that day, he writes his first name in the notebook, killing the person with a heart attack. Later that night, after cram school, he writes another name to confirm the authenticity of the notebook, killing a man in a traffic accident. November 29th to December 3rd. Light continues writing criminals' names in the notebook until Ryuk arrives. Light announces his goal to become a god. Ryuk becomes interested in seeing this whole thing play out. December 4th. The International Criminal Police Organization, ICPO for short, has a meeting regarding the mysterious series of heart attacks. The meeting is interrupted once Watari makes an appearance and L announces the beginning of his investigation. December 5th. The TV broadcast takes place where L frames a criminal to take his place. Light responds to the provocation and challenges L, confirming the existence of Kira and that he is somewhere in the Kanto region of Japan. December 6th through 9th. Light spends the days writing down names in the notebook. Over family dinner, his father reveals that progress has been made in narrowing down the persons of interest in the Kira case. In response, Light looks up police intel, where he sees that Kira's activity hours are being looked into, which could lead to them profiling him as a student. The following two days, December 10th and 11, Light writes down 46 names, all to die one by one on the hour. December 12th, L pieces together that one, Kira can control the time of death as showcased over the two previous days, and two, that he did this in response to the suspicion raised before, revealing that he also has access to police intel. On this day, Light also creates the hiding place for the notebook, a false bottom linked to a gas canister in his desk drawer. December 14th, 12 FBI agents are sent to Japan to investigate the Kira task force and their relatives to snuff out the leak. December 18th, Ray Penber begins to follow Light. After both Ryuk and Light notice this, Ryuk explains the concept of the Shinigami eyes and proposes the trade. Light turns the deal down and begins to think of a plan to eliminate his new follower. December 19th. 
Light uses the notebook to conduct a series of experiments on imprisoned criminals, including a message to L. He tests the boundaries of the notebook by making some do things that would be impossible for the individual, such as writing the name of a person they do not know. After observing the results, he comes to the conclusion that if the task set out in the notebook is impossible, they will simply die of a heart attack. If the task is possible, however, they will carry it out to the smallest detail. December 20th. With the knowledge of his previous experiments, Light writes down an addict's name in the notebook, commanding him to take over the bus and bait out the real identity of the man following Light. As a result, Penber shows his FBI badge to Light, revealing his real name. The scenario written in the notebook ends as the criminal is hit by a car. December 27th. After a week of planning, Light has an idea on how to eliminate all of the agents at once. This leads him to confront Penber head-on in a subway station, where he has written another name as proof for the agent to see. Penber is tricked into writing all of the agent's names on a piece of the death notes, inadvertently eliminating all of the agents himself. Penber dies of a heart attack soon thereafter, seeing lights look over him in the subway. December 31st, 33 days since the start of the Kira case. Naomi conducts her own research into the death of her fiancé Ray Penber. The police task force finds out about Elle's internal investigation. Despite the initial outrage and mass walkout by the members of the police force, the remaining members establish the Kira task force and go to meet Elle face to face. 2004, January 1st. Naomi goes to meet Elle but runs into light out of sheer coincidence. She tells him how she might have uncovered some important information regarding the Kira case as a result of her fiancé's death, that of course being Ray Penber. Despite having difficulty at first, Light baits out her real identity and she is taken out with the power of the notebook. January 8th. After reviewing the security tapes of the FBI agents' death, L puts the Yagami and the Kitamura families under surveillance due to the suspicion of Kira being among them. A fake news story announcing 1,500 Kira investigators is also broadcast, though Light sees straight through this. While being watched by L, Light challenges them head on in the famous potato chip scene, making L himself a witness to Light's innocence. January 10th. Still under surveillance, Light deliberately leaves the TV on while studying. Fearing that a link between his lack of knowledge and the criminals dying may be established, he writes down the names while studying and then copies them in the notebook to die at random times. January 12th, L decides to end the surveillance of the Kitamura as well as the Yagami households. January 17th, Light goes to take the university entrance exam when he hears the professor tell someone behind him to sit properly. The first face-to-face -face interaction between Light and L occurs. January 21st, BB is killed by Kira. February 2nd, the killer of Misa Amane's parents is killed by Kira. March 12th, 105 days since the start of the Kira case. Misa is attacked by a man on the street. The Shinigami Gellus saves her out of love, causing his own death. His remaining lifespan is transferred to Misa. March 20th, Misa gains the death note and meets Rem. April 5th, Light enters university where he and L, the two students with the highest scores on the entrance exam, make the opening speech. L catches Light off guard by introducing himself as the detective he's been hunting, and asks him to join the Kira investigation. Light is thrown on the back foot and spends the next couple of days thinking of his next move. April 7th, after an intense game of tennis, the duo of L and Light go to get a cup of coffee. L is very open about him suspecting Light as Kira and tests his detective abilities, trying to bait out an answer with information that only Kira would know. Light's father suddenly collapses, making everyone fear that he has fallen prey to Kira. The cause would turn out to be excessive stress. April 13th. The second Kira's videos are received at Sakura TV. The fact that this is a separate entity from the original Kira is yet unknown. Five days later, on April 18th, the tapes are broadcast. A newscaster is killed on live TV to prove the validity of their claims to the real Kira. Ukita and the other policemen try to stop the program but are eliminated by Misa, 
who watches on from a distance with the eyes of the Shinigami. Chief Yagami drives an armored truck through the entrance and confiscates the tapes, bringing them back to L. April 22nd. As outlined in the second Kira's message, four days later, the video indicating that nor the police or L will work with them is released to the public. April 24th. L deducts the possibility of there actually being two Kiras. L invites Light to join the task force, but tests him by showing the tapes they've been examining. Light comes to the same conclusion. There must be two Kiras, passing L's test. The task force then broadcast a fake Kira message aimed at the second Kira. April 26th. A response from the second Kira is sent and passed on to the task force. In the video, the second Kira talk about using their Shinigami to confirm their abilities to each other. L is very surprised to see this word used again, as Light had sent a message about Shinigami's loving apples through one of his experiments. May 12th. A journal from the second Kira is sent to Sakura TV, but is intercepted by the task force. The journal is of the last year, and has an entry on the 30th of May, claiming that they saw a Shinigami in the Tokyo Dome. There is another entry, however, on the 22nd, saying that they showed off their notebooks with a friend in Aoyama. Light pieces together that the 30th is a red herring, as the 22nd entry could only be understood by him. L plays it safe, saying that they should investigate all the entries instead, including the 22nd in Aoyama, saying to look out for people with notebooks. A plan is established for Light, his friends, and Matsuda to go to Aoyama. May 22nd. The mission is carried out, but no one spots anything suspicious relating to the investigation. Misa, on the other hand, identifies Light with the power of the eyes. The following day on May 23rd, a video is sent to Sakura TV from the second Kira. On May 25th, the video is broadcast where the second Kira explains that they have found the original Kira. In response, L broadcasts a message as the police, asking the second Kira to work with them and give up the name of the original. Misa, after seeing the message, goes to officially introduce herself to Lights and tells him that she is in fact the second Kira. May 26th. Light asks his mother and sister not to talk about Misa, playing it off as a regular relationship that he wants to keep from his father, when in reality, he fears that the both of them could now be tied together as the first and second Kira. May 27th. To sow more seeds of doubt, Light begins to date his course mate Kiyomi Takada. The task force receives a final message from the second Kira, telling them that they will stop looking for the real one. L, however, deducts that this is a confirmation that they have already met. Misa goes to meet Light again, but are seen together by Detective Mogi, making him question whether Light is seeing two girls at once, or they may be more to it. During the conversation between Light and Misa, Rem agrees to eliminate L. May 28th. Light is walking with Kayomi when they suddenly run into L. Light stops to have a conversation with him when Misa suddenly runs up and introduces herself as Light's girlfriend. She is taken aback as the name L gives her does not match the one she sees with her Shinigami eyes. She is then recognized by the people around and a crowd forms until her manager calls her away. Light calls Misa to tell her to write the name she just saw in the notebook, but is surprised to see L pick up the phone. Right after, L receives a call informing him that Misa has been taken into custody under the suspicion of being the second Kira, based on the physical evidence found in the envelopes containing the tapes. After three days in custody on May 31st, Misa gives up ownership of the notebook and loses all memories of being Kira. Meanwhile, Light comes up with a plan to give up the ownership of one of the notebooks burying it in the forest. The other is meant to go to someone who'd use it for personal gain, a person they'd be able to catch. After the instructions are made clear, Light prepares to go into custody himself. June 1st, 186 days since the start of the Kira investigation. Light goes to the task force and tells them to restrain him over fears that he may have been acting as Kira subconsciously. In response to his son being imprisoned, Chief Yagami also demands to be confined, saying that there is no way he can be unbiased anyway. 
June 5th. Five days into confinement, no criminals have died despite their names being broadcast. June 7th. A week into his voluntary confinement, Light gives up ownership of Ryuk's death note and loses all of his memories related to the book. Ryuk returns to the realm of the Shinigami. With his memory now being gone, Light's actions become frantic, leaving El confused as to what just happened. As per Light's plan, no criminals begin to die yet. June 14th. Rem gives her notebook to an egotistical Yotsuba employee, Kyosuke Higuchi. He is told to use the notebook as he wishes, as long as he complies with her rules. Those being the ones set out by Light. June 15th, day 200 of the Kira case. 15 days have passed since Light, his father and Misa were put into custody. The same day, two weeks worth of criminals are eliminated by the newly established Yotsuba Kira. Both the task force as well as L himself are absolutely puzzled as to what is happening. June 19th through July 4th, Higuchi uses the notebook for self-gain, eliminating other members of the board. July 20th, 50 days into solitary confinement, other members of the task force start to oppose the continued confinement of Light and Misa. L asks whether Chief Yagami would leave confinement and come to headquarters to talk about a plan. L explains that based on the evidence they've seen, Kira will do anything to protect themselves, even killing their own father if necessary. Or even if they don't, he has observed that Misa has an unnaturally strong bond to Light, so if she were to be the second Kira, she would protect him. Hence, L asks whether Light's father would take them to a secluded spot and pull a gun on Light. Three days later, on July 23rd, the plan is carried out, but even after Light's father pulls the trigger, nothing happens. L is forced to the conclusion that neither one of them are Kira, at least at this moment. So even though they are released from confinement, they remain under surveillance and Light is permanently handcuffed to L. During this time, the Yotsuba Kira continues to eliminate other competitors. August 1st. The investigation headquarters move into the special facility built by L. Both Light and L, as well as the remaining task force, are actively working on establishing a framework of how the new Kira operates. August 2nd. L is extremely bothered by not having any new leads and seemingly being wrong in tagging Misa and Light as the two Kiras. Light punches him, and L gets to show off some of those capoeira moves he learned since working with Naomi. October 1st. The sudden rise in Yotsuba Group's stocks makes it come under suspicion of the task force, and yet another competitor is eliminated by the Yotsuba Kira. October 2nd. The police officially ends the Kira investigation, and Chief Yagami is made aware that if he, along with the rest of the task force, were to continue working alongside L, it would not be as a part of the police. Despite this, Yagami, Mogi, and Matsuda quit the NPA and stay on the Kira task force. Aizawa is bothered by L not telling them that their financial situation is insured already, and testing them again, so he leaves the investigation. October 4th, L contacts Iber, a professional con man, and Weddy, a professional burglar, both of whom have worked with L before. Three days later, on October 7th, they join the task force. October 8th, Matsuda breaks into the Yotsuba building and overhears discussions regarding the elimination of competitors. He gets caught by the executives, where he poses as Misa's manager and promotes her to them. Fearing that they may target him next, with the help of L, he fakes his death by falling off a balcony. The Yotsuba Kira writes the fake name he was given by Matsuda in the notebook as a safety measure, though this obviously does not do anything. October 12th. Iber contacts a Yotsuba employee, Masahiko Kida. He acts as a detective for hire and is told to find out more about L. In the Yotsuba meeting, the rest of the members agree to pay Eraldo Coil, Iber's detective alias. The next day, on October 13th, another member of the Yotsuba group is eliminated by the notebook. October 15th. Thanks to Weddy, the task force has installed cameras and bugged the Yotsuba meeting group, where they watch the discussion of Coil's report on L. Posing as L, Light contacts one of the Yotsuba employees, Namikawa, offering legal immunity if he opposes the killing of their competitors and plays according to L's demands. 
After the call is over, he says that they should focus on eliminating L and stop targeting competitors for the time being, fulfilling Light's goal of the call. Two separate investigations start in the task force. Light's father proposes arresting them right away since they have sufficient evidence. L, on the other hand, argues that they need to wait and find out how Kira operates. If they don't, a new one will just appear after the current one is arrested. October 21st. Coyle informs the executives of the Yotsuba group that Misa has been previously detained by L. They demand that he joins them at the meeting. October 22nd. Mogi takes over for Matsuda as Misa's manager, since the Yotsuba group cannot find out he is still alive. October 24th. In Misa's auditions, she is questioned over the rumors that she had been the second Kira. During a break from the interview, Rem appears before Misa and tells her about her past as the second Kira. October 25th. Misa, now knowing that she used to be the second Kira and can contact Rem, goes for a drive with Higuchi, the Yotsuba Kira, and tells him that she is in fact the second Kira. She proves it by having Rem write down a name in the notebook, eliminating a president of a large financial company. In return, Higuchi tells her that he is the Yotsuba Kira, which Misa managed to secretly record and pass on to the Kira task force. L pieces together the final aspects of the Death Note, figuring that the only way the power of the notebook can be transferred is by the will of the person wielding it themselves. So now the plan is to drive Higuchi into a corner where he cannot pass it on, thereby figuring out exactly how he kills. October 28th. The plan is put into motion. Matsuda, a person the Yotsuba group believes to be dead, appears in the Kira special on Sakura TV with the promise to reveal Kira's identity. In this plan, Namikawa will be used as a messenger to inform Higuchi of what is going on. Once the faked reveal of Matsuda happens, Higuchi is expected to head straight for Sakura TV. Out of desperation, Higuchi makes a deal for the eyes of the Shinigami. Fearing that it is far too dangerous to continue, L commands the capture of Higuchi. Aizawa returns to aid in the capture as well. And thus, the death note is seized. Rem is seen by the members of the police force, and once the notebook is brought to L and Light in the helicopter, all of Light's memories as Kira return. With his memories back, Higuchi's name is written on a hidden piece of the notebook Light had hidden in his wristwatch. October 30th. Misa is officially released from the investigation headquarters. November 4th. Misa finds Ryuk's notebook that was buried by Light before he went into custody. Ryuk returns to the human world. Light tells Misa to now write L's name in the notebook, but realizing she has forgotten it since her original time as Kira, she makes another trade for the eyes with Ryuk. The deaths begin anew with Misa now acting as Kira. November 5th. Light corners Rem by purposely putting Misa in danger. Rem then kills L and Watari, thereby breaking the most important Shinigami rule and erasing herself from existence. Rem's remaining lifespan is transferred to Misa. Her notebook is acquired by Light. November 15th. Light's father has to push his superiors to continue the Kira investigation as the killings have begun once again. L's death is not made public, and Light takes over as L. December 5th. L's and Watari's deaths are confirmed in the Whammy House. Melo refuses to work alongside Nier and leaves on his own. 2005, January 10th. 409 days since the start of the Kira case. Wedi is killed by Light's notebook. April 7th. Iber is killed by the notebook. April 10th, all of the surviving members of the Yotsuba group are killed by the notebook. May 1st, Light, acting as L, creates new rules forbidding the broadcasting of criminals. Two weeks later, on May 15th, confidential information on criminals begins flooding the internet. 2005 through late 2009, Light, acting as Kira, is unrivaled. 2009, March 5th. Steve Mason, the head of the FBI, officially introduces Nier as the successor to L to the US president. He also informs him that the current L is a fake. Nier explains to the president that they already have a good idea of how Kira operates, explaining that they have information about the notebook. 
March 12th. The special provision for Kira, SPK for short, is officially established, consisting of hand-picked FBI and CIA operatives. Mello is informed about the existence of the notebook and that it is in the hands of the Japanese police. April 1st, Light enters the NPA. October 8th, 2,141 days since the start of the Kira case. The NPA director is abducted by Mafia members working under Mello. October 11th, an SPK agent approaches the NPA and requests for the notebook to be handed over to the US. The director kidnapped days before is found eliminated by Kira and Light's sister Sayu is kidnapped by the Mafia. October 12th, the kidnappers instruct the Kira task force to bring the death note to LA. Light and Nier are officially introduced, but Nier surprises him by calling him L the Second, revealing that they already know about the real L's death. October 13th, the task force along with Light and Misa discreetly arrive in LA. The flight carrying ex-chief Yagami is hijacked by the Mafia, who's forced to exchange the notebook for his daughter. Once Mello acquires the notebook, the members involved in the kidnapping and the known SPK members are eliminated by the notebook. Following this, Nier and Light agree to exchange information, where N reveals that Mello is the mastermind in the kidnapping. Sido, the Shinigami, arrives in the human world and possesses Nalin, a mafia member who currently holds the notebook. October 14th and 15th, members of the Kira task force learn of the Whammy House and L is told that Mello and Nier are L's true successors. October 18th, Mello demands that Light's father expose the identity of the current L and later threatens the US president, demanding his cooperation. Meanwhile, Misa finds the current owner of the notebook, a mafia member named Jack Nalin. After Sido arrives, Nalin trades for the Shinigami eyes. October 19th, Light establishes a plan to capture Mello working alongside the President of the US. October 23rd, Nalin's name is written in the notebook and forced to reveal the location of Mello's base to Light. October 27th, Light's plan is carried out as the special forces storm the Mafia base, but are wiped out by Sido who just wants to get his notebook back. Light gives up ownership of Ryuk's notebook, but keeps Misa's hidden under his clothes to retain his memories. Misa is told by Light to contact the Kira task force, acting as Kira. October 30th, ex-chief Yagami receives a phone call from Misa acting as Kira, offering to help in retrieving the notebook. The next day, Ryuk delivers the notebook to the Kira task force. November 7th, the task force locates Mello. Three days later, on November 10th, Light's father makes the eye deal with Ryuk. The Kira task force then storms Mello's base. November 11th, the Kira task force retrieved the Mafia death notes. Mello's real name is revealed as Michael Kale, but is not written in any of the notebooks. He manages to blow up his base and escape. Light's father dies from the gunshot wounds, believing that Light had been innocent all along, since he can see his lifespan. After Yagami's death, Sido's notebook, along with himself, return to the Shinigami realm. November 18th. Nier begins to suspect Light as being Kira. The US officially announces their acceptance of Kira. November 19th. Following the announcement of the US folding to Kira, so do other countries, including Japan. The SPK is said to disband. Mello goes to their headquarters and shares information about the notebook, including that some of the rules are fake and that the notebook has been passed around before already. November 22nd, Demigawa announces that he is now Kira's spokesman. November 23rd, Nier deducts that the 13-day rule must be fake and questions Light whether any of them had been released from custody as a result of the rule. Mello requests that Mogi come to New York and is guided to the SPK headquarters. November 25th, the SPK headquarters are attacked by Kira's followers, where Light hopes Nier would be forced to escape and his name could be seen by Misa. Due to the money distraction, however, they escape without getting spotted. November 26th, Mikami is chosen as the new Kira proxy. Misa sends him her notebook and loses all memories of being Kira. 
November 27th, Aizawa begins to suspect Light as well. Nier figures that the second L, whom he suspects to be Kira, is Light Yagami. Mikami receives the notebook and begins his work as Kira. Later, he makes the eye trade with Ryuk. A member of the SPK is sent to Japan to investigate Light, and Mogi is told to permanently stay with Misa. Demigawa and Kira's kingdom executives are eliminated by Mikami. December 5th, Kiyomi Takada, Light's friend from university, is chosen as Kira's spokesperson. Light suggests that the Kira task force return to Japan and investigate Takada. December 6th, Mikami, through his spokesperson Takada, announces that he will eliminate people who fail to contribute to society. Light has a meeting with Takada at the Imperial Hotel. December 7th, Mikami makes another announcement through Takada, stating that he will eliminate people with past criminal records, even if they've been reformed. This extreme bothers Light, so he suggests that Takada should voice her own opinions on Kira as well. Mikami and Light speak on the phone for the first time, after which Light reveals to Takada that he is in fact the original Kira. December 12th, Nier arrives in Japan and his conversations with Light become a lot more heated. Light reveals the existence of the notebook to Takada and has her begin to write down names. December 14th, Nier pieces together that Mikami has to be the new Kira. December 21st, Takada and Misa have dinner together, where things get a little heated. A member of the SPK is following Mikami when he sees him seemingly use the notebook while on the train. Nier becomes convinced that Mikami is the new Kira, named Ex-Kira. December 25th, Nier tries to find signs of Mikami having a Shinigami, and they do notice that he has in fact been talking to himself. Aizawa discovers that during the meetings between Light and Takada, they've been secretly communicating through notes. Due to this, Aizawa contacts Nier and agrees to continue keeping an eye on Light. December 31st. Misa and Mogi are placed in confinement by the SPK. Steven Giovanni, the agent tailing Mikami, touches the notebook at the gym. 2010, January 7th. Giovanni takes photos of Mikami's death note and sends them to Nier. January 21st, the fake notebook is constructed and is swapped out for the real one in the gym locker. January 25th, Nier contacts the task force and asks to set up a meeting. The date is set for January 28th. Light passes on these details to Takada, who passes them on to Mikami, with the aim of him coming to the meeting and writing down everyone's names aside from Light. January 26th, Takada is kidnapped by Melo. She later uses a piece of the notebook to kill Melo and is then killed herself by Light's notebook. January 27th, Giovanni creates a copy of Mikami's notebook and switches it for the real version stored in the bank. 2010, January 28th, 2,253 days since the start of the Kira case. Misa is released but told to stay at the Imperial Hotel for the duration of the meeting. Meanwhile, Light and the rest of the task force go to meet Nier and the SPK face to face. A short while later, Mikami appears and writes down all names excluding himself and Light. After the 40 seconds pass and no one dies, Mikami is arrested by the SPK. Light finally admits that he is Kira and screams out to Ryuk for help. In response, he writes down Light's name. Nier burns both of the death notes and Kira's death is hidden from the public. Ryuk returns to the Shinigami realm. 2010, February 2nd, Mikami dies while in prison. 2011, February 14th, Misa dies. 2013, February 9th, a sudden rise in deaths of the elderly leads to speculation that Kira has returned. Sometime later in 2013, Nier refuses to investigate the new Kira, saying that he is a cheap knockoff, and that investigation would be a disservice to both L as well as the original Kira. Soon after, the cheap or C Kira dies by the power of his own death notes. The Shinigami possessing C Kira later talks to Ryuk about how he could never find a person as formidable as Light in writing down names.
Sometime in 2017, Ryuk returns to the human world and drops the notebook to Minoru Takana. Minoru, intrigued by the history of the notebook, relinquishes its ownership and tells Ryuk to return in two years, and then he will reward him with apples. 2019, May 1st. As instructed, Ryuk returns the notebook to Minoru once two years have passed. Minoru does not use the notebook, stating that it would be far far more difficult to use it in the modern age without getting caught, and tells Ryuk to appear on Sakura TV with a note saying that the book will be sold through an auction. May 19th. Ryuk appears on Sakura TV again, announcing the end of the auction in one week. May 20th. A bidding war breaks out between the world governments once a rule is set out by Minoru. Their representatives must bid openly in the media. May 21st. Minoru sends another instruction. They should name the price and, quote-unquote, no other nonsense. May 22nd. The auction reaches a quadrillion yen, roughly 7.5 trillion euro or 9 trillion dollars. Minoru decides to end the auction the next day, but a Shinigami arrives to tell Ryuk that he should see the Shinigami King as soon as he leaves his human. May 23rd. The United States officially win the auction. May 24th. Nier and the SPK's last ditch effort to hunt down the A Kira is to catch the money when it is being moved. The plan is invalidated when an announcement is made that the money should be deposited equally to everyone under the age of 65 with a Yotsuba bank savings account, making it virtually impossible to identify which one of the hundreds of thousands is responsible. May 27th. After the money is transferred, Minoru gives up the death note, losing all of his memories, and it is delivered to the US president. But before that happens, Ryuk meets the Shinigami King, where he is informed that a new rule has to be established because of Minoru. If a notebook is sold, both sides will die, and this rule would be enforced retroactively. Ryuk then presents the notebook to the US president, who refuses to accept it to save his own life. The notebook is returned to Ryuk. Sometime in June, Minoru goes to access the money from his bids, and his name is written in the notebook due to him receiving payments from the trade, thereby marking the end of the Akira. And so far, that is the Death Note timeline. I'd wager for some of you, the events of the LAPD BB case and the post Kira case events are actually new, but these are indeed canon. For me, I think the 2021 shot about Minoru is probably the craziest of them all, since he was probably, if not the smartest, then definitely the wisest person using the notebook, which left Nier absolutely stumped. And do let me know if you enjoyed this format and whether I have missed something. This is quite a detail-centric series indeed. And that's the video. One that turned out about 50 times longer than I would have ever expected. But as usual, a massive thank you to our current patrons who allow me to produce even more of these absolutely gigantic projects for you all. Seriously, thank you, thank you. And if you wish to join the highly coveted Mystery Shack Insiders Club, you can do so for as little as $1 per month and get access to all of the benefits. And lastly, let us do the fun test to see how many of you stuck around until the very, very end. Leave a comment, whatever it may be, and include the words Beyond Halloween. Very seasonal, I know. Other than that, if you enjoyed the video, I'd really appreciate it if you did all the YouTube bits and bobs to help with the blessing of the algorithm. But now, I want to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and hopefully, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.